Nothing has joined. Yeah, we have live monthly. Yes. Okay. Hi all. Good afternoon and welcome to the webinar. I am Miss Manasi, General Manager at ATDD Presentations. Today we are going to conduct our seventh webinar and it's for Austria with our expertise DMCR travels. So let's begin with the presentation as I am sure you all are having an excellent knowledge of Austria after this webinar. I am going to hand it over to Mayur. Uh, thank you, Mansi. Uh, hello, everyone. And as Mansi said, welcome to our seventh webinar, uh, which is for Austria. And as uh, so those who are joining us for the first time, let me introduce uh, myself. My name is Mayur and I take care of sales uh, at ATD Representations. So just like every webinar, I will just uh, take you through a short uh, tour of our website, uh, you know, where we have uh, done some, you know, improvements in our website to let you have everything at one point. So as you can see, we this is our website, atdreps.com and the section for Austria, just click on that. And then you see a little overview about Austria, where you can see the key facts, uh, when you want to visit, the key attractions, the festival and events, or you know maybe the food and drinks, the shopping tips, whatever you want. So whenever the customer is visiting you or you are getting in touch with your customer, this would be you know, one stop where you can just share everything with your customer. So now without wasting much more time, I would now hand over this uh, presentation to Mr. Martin from Our Travels and he will start you off with the presentation now. Martin, over to you. Thank, uh, thank you, Mayua. Uh, first of all, let, uh, let me welcome you all to our first webinar on Austria. Uh, uh, first, to give you a short overview here, uh, the, uh, all the shops are already open here, and uh, as well, the restaurants will open next weekend in two weeks' time, all the hotels. Uh, uh, here, life will resume. Uh, back to normal very soon. But in the meantime, I would like to give you an overview about our beautiful country. Uh, I don't want to concentrate too much about the facts uh, that we are located uh, between Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Germany, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Italy, and the VSR travels uh, as well. Uh, we are, of course, uh, selling all the above countries as well. Yeah? We are a pop population of more than 8 million here, and a quarter of it uh, resides in Vienna, which is the capital. Uh, uh, first, to give you an overview of when to travel, most Indians prefer to travel May uh, to October because uh, here it's the summer season, temperatures are very uh, 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 hot, I would have said. So, uh, is Indian tourists because of the snow, the skiing, and uh, ice skating. So here we have a short overview of uh, the most famous Austrians, which are always a, as well a, a topic uh, to visit. Either it's for music, for art, for uh, for events uh, like speed racing. Yeah, as, as mentioned, Vienna is the capital city. Uh, and uh, uh, it's um, uh, the, the largest city in Austria, as I said, with about 2 million people. And it was uh, now, uh, just this week, Mercer it has now become three times in a row the most lively city in the uh, the most uh, enjoyable city to live in the world. Yeah, so the living quality in Vienna is uh, 
they're the best in the in the world. You is uh, that we have uh, 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 we have a lot of cultural events. If it's musical, opera, uh, uh, concerts, movies, we have we, every every day we sell more uh, event tickets than New York City. So we will start in Vienna with, with the with the sites. Uh, the most uh, famous attraction is Schönbrunn Palace, uh, where, which is uh, 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 which uh, can be visited on a private tour. There are uh, there are three tours. There's the Imperial tour, and there's the highlights tour. Yeah, which uh, usually you can book up to 40 people. only uh, a classic tour done, which includes instead of 22 rooms, only 12 rooms. Yeah, uh, sorry, Martin, so uh, it's uh, uh, limited to come again because I guess the voice was not clear. So, a lot of people could not hear uh, this Sonburn Palace description. Can you come again on that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, okay. The uh, the most famous site in in Vienna and all over Austria is probably Schönbrunn Palace, uh, where which uh, can be, uh, where tickets have to be purchased purchased in advance. Yeah, so you can purchase a voucher with us, and. Uh, uh, you can uh, as well have a, a private guiding to, guided tour where there are two options, the highlights tour and the imperial tour. Yeah, both contain 22 rooms. Yeah. For larger groups, 40 to tour down. Yeah. The, um, the palace itself <coughs> is surrounded by a beautiful garden, uh, which is called the uh, the labyrinth, the, uh, the maze, uh, the orangerie. And uh, what is int interesting for the people, uh, uh, for your clients as well, that is, uh, if you're doing mines, you can as well rent space at Schönbrunn Palace. So you can, you can uh, have an event there for more than 1,000 people. We can have an event there. It's one of the largest event locations in Vienna. Yeah, as well, very famous, but uh, not so much visited by Indian clients, is the Vienna Opera House, which is supposed to be wow, one of the uh, most beautiful uh, 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 imperial buildings yeah, out of the eight uh, built in between 1861 and 1869, uh, where you have daily uh, presentations, uh, daily plays. Yeah. Uh, tickets uh, rise from 10 euros to usually like uh, 1,200 euros per ticket. Yeah, interested here to know that Vienna is as well a very uh, uh, good city if you are physically handicapped. Yeah, uh, all of the attractions are uh, available for wheelchair users, and if you go for a play at Vienna Opera House, you will only play like 10 pay like 10 euros. For each play, you will pay the same amount, only 10 euros. Yeah? So Austrian Parliament is under renovation now, uh, which can, uh, can be visited uh, as well. Uh, it's free of charge during sessions, but it only makes sense if you're good in uh, German language. Otherwise, it's uh, as well an imperial building from the 1870s, 1880s. So, uh, next uh, is uh, Vienna City Hall, which is located op uh, opposite the Imperial Theatre. Uh, it's actually the main square uh, of Vienna, as in, 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 in front of the uh, City Hall, we have different uh, events taking place like Vienna Christmas marking, uh, they, have, uh, they are building an ice rink, <coughs> they have food festival during summer, so they have their different, different uh, themes as well, very 
um, enjoyable for for tourists to spend some time time there and uh, and get to know the local people, either if it's during Christmas market or uh, during opera festival, for instance. So there's almost every time something going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, not far from there is the Imperial Palace, uh, which is home of the uh, of the uh, treasury, uh, and uh, and as well the National Library and the uh, we call it World Museum. Yeah? As well, you, uh, you can visit the Imperial Apartments, yeah? and of course uh, the Imperial Riding School. Yeah, uh, Vienna's main church uh, is uh, St. Stephen's Cathedral, which is, which is located in the heart of the city center. Uh, uh, yeah, when I grew up, uh, Austria was still 80, 80 to 90 percent Catholic. Nowadays, a lot of people uh, have withdrawn from the church, and we have gone to about 50 percent Catholic and about uh, 30 percent uh, with, uh, uh, with agnostic beliefs. Yeah, uh, uh, very popular site is as well uh, the, uh, the giant Ferris wheel, which is located in the Prata. Uh, the Prata is kind of a lunar park. Where you have, yeah, there's no admission, but you have different rides. Uh, you can go on, and then, but you have to pay for each ride individually. Uh, for the giant Ferris wheel, uh, you have a beautiful view, and it takes about twenty minutes for uh, circulation. Yeah, uh, I have uh, talked in my introduction that Vienna has been voted this year the greenest city, uh, greenest capital city in the world. Uh, where you can, can see here the Danube Tower, which is newly re renovated with a rotating platform. Uh, uh, where you have a wonderful view onto the Danube Park in Danube Island, which is surrounding there. Vienna is the uh, capital city, uh, city, which has the longest uh, beach in the world. You will now see how can a, a city have a beach. We have uh, 42 kilometers of uh, beach on the river banks, which are as well visited by thousands of people every day. Uh, and. Uh, for some fun facts, there is as well uh, nude beach, uh, uh, which uh, can you be visited. So if you are going on a cycle path, path, you can hop on and you don't even need a bathing suit. So uh, we, we often uh, arrange visits to Danube Tower. Admission is about um, 15 euros now. And uh, for, for groups and the VIPs, uh, there's a restaurant on the top where you see the rotating, uh, the small rotating platform, which is the first uh, before uh, the round course. <coughs> uh, Vienna is as well home of the United Nations uh, in a newly built uh, headquarters uh, at the end of the 1990s. Yeah, I already mentioned the Spanish Riding School, where they leap on horses uh, during winter, and you can watch performances. Uh, tickets can be purchased through us and uh, range from 10 euros to up to 180, about 180, 200 euros, depending on the demand. Yeah, as well, one of the most famous uh, uh, architects and painters of Friedrich Hundertwasser. Here you see uh, uh, the Hundertwasser House, uh, which is of, uh, frequently visited by tourists. Uh, is Belvedere Palace, where they host always as well new exhibitions. Uh, we, we had uh, as well a special uh, Indian uh, um, uh, Martin, can uh, you please repeat the previous slide? Uh, 
in der äh, Lasa Ring. Äh, Major, which one? This one, this one, yes. Uh, yeah, the Hundertwasser yeah. House. Yeah. Hundertwasser. Yeah, Hundertwasser yeah, House uh, is uh, dedicated to Friedensreich Hundertwasser, uh, who was one of the most uh, famous architects and uh, artists as well uh, of, of, of his time, and it's home to a museum where, which uh, can be visited as well if the clients are into art. Uh, as you see on the picture, it is well, very colorful and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, not classical to say. Yeah, so he took a new approach uh, to his form of art. As I said, Belvedere Palace hosted uh, um, uh, ex exhibition as well on India. It's it's a large area there as well. A couple of years back, there was a big Indian wedding with more than a thousand guests. It's a, it's a very exclusive area to rent for a wedding because of all the greenery. Uh, for Indian weddings, it's uh, one of the best locations uh, in Austria. And, uh, and of course, through the surroundings, through the galleries uh, uh, they have, it's very, very exclusive. And... Uh, uh, can be, of course, uh, requested. For, it doesn't have to be necessarily a wedding. It can be any any corporate event, uh, um, uh, conference can be uh, happening there. Like, same like for Schönbrunn Palace, as I told you earlier. So Austria is part of uh, nine uh, states. Vienna is a city state. And then we have eight more states, like uh, Lower Austria. Uh, I don't want to uh, waste your time uh, with, uh, with the figures. Uh, as well, uh, uh, lower, lower Austria is surrounding Vienna completely. And one of the most famous excursions we do from here is going to Wachau Valley. Wachau Valley is, uh, or as, uh, as it's called, Danube Valley. Uh, uh, because uh, through the Danube River and the, and the hills, it's perfect for cultivating wine and, uh, of, of course, for very good restaurants. We have the highest density on uh, upmarket restaurants in Austria, in Wacha Valley, and we have the best wineries in the country in, in uh, Wacha Valley. So uh, there are a lot of places where you can do as well corporate events, or even we often arrange wine tasting for two persons, for four persons, it's not a big deal. And uh, uh, concerning the wine tastings, we often do like three wines, three wines, five wines, seven wines, uh, usually only whites and one red, because we only have the Zweigelt and in and the Grüner Veltliner uh, in, in uh, uh, Wacher Valley. It's home. The Grüner Berliner is then uh, through different years and uh, different qualities of uh, uh, cultivations. So, but a, white, a red wine, there is only the Zweigel produced there, which uh, uh, which is always uh, is the same. Yeah, as well, uh, close to uh, the Wacher Valley is uh, Melk Abbey, which is also done on the Wacha Valley excursions. It's a uh, Benedictine Abbey uh, with, with uh, great art. And uh, through its location on the riverbanks, gives you, uh, yeah, gives you a, a really great view. Uh, what we often do is as well uh, uh, the Danube River cruise from Melk to Krems. So after you visit the the Abbey, here you take a boat very close by and uh, head down the river to Krems uh, or Dürnstein. And uh, Dürnstein is the ruin we just saw on the... Here, this is the ruin of Dürnstein, yeah, where, uh, where you can stop as well. Uh, it's about 15 minutes walk uphill and there you have a very gorgeous view. So you can do milk 
first then take the boat to Dernstein and then can, we can continue to to Krems, uh, which is a, which has a beautiful but newly renovated uh, old town. Uh, the Mura Falls we have visited with a large group. Uh, uh, it, it's a, uh, last year it's a very nice hike uh, and uh, very beautiful scenery, uh, which is uh, very uh, similar to uh, to Grimmel, uh what we have in the west of Austria. It's beautiful for hiking and. Uh, 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 and uh, see scenic pictures, especially wedding pictures. At the moment, uh, under con uh, construction is the uh, See Grotte. Uh, the, the Grotte uh, is under construction, but uh, as soon as it's newly renovated, you will uh, be able to float again on the underground river. Uh, the good thing is that it's about uh, only 30 minutes located from Vienna, so it's perfect for a half day journey through the caves. Yeah, uh, what is as well a very beautiful location is uh, the park uh, and the uh, castle of Luxembourg. Uh, it's as well very close, located uh, 20 minutes from Vienna, so 50 kilometers south, uh, and it's a very popular. Uh, destinations, but uh, mainly for domestic uh, tourists. But the scenery and the location, as you can see on the picture, is really great. Uh, uh, then we head on to Styria. We have as well a tour which is called Best of Styria, uh, which really focuses on national parks and uh, as, it's, it's all, as it is also called the Green Heart of Austria. Uh, and it, it's bordering uh, to Slovenia, so if you, if you want to co uh, continue to uh, Slovenia and Croatia, you may stop as well in Graz, which is the capital city, uh, which has many re uh, newly renovated sites, as the Graz clock tower. As you see, it as well is home to a, a sm uh, small restaurant, small cafeteria, but uh, uh, with a very nice view. So for smaller events or uh, family locations, uh, if you want to have coffee and cake, uh, it's uh, uh, a very nice place to visit. Uh, as I said, mostly on the route to Croatia or uh, Ljubljana, Slovenia. Yeah, uh, as I said, uh, uh, Green Lake and Brook and Moor has beautiful scenery, and we can arrange, for instance, a, a, a a fishing trip, yeah. So uh, it's it's very beautiful and uh, uh, and uh, sceneries as well. Uh, camping in these areas, camping and hiking, uh, is uh, is very very popular. Yeah, uh, see, uh, seeing as well, uh, Graz is as well uh, uh, popular for. Uh, for art and for concerts, uh, so we have lots of tourists going there, uh, participating in uh, in concerts, uh, uh, and uh, of of course, uh, Styria is is, uh, is is home to a lot of thermal springs. Yeah, you cannot compare. Uh, the, the Austrian uh, thermal springs to the Hungarian one. Budapest has 123 hot springs. Uh, in all over Austria, we have about 30 hot springs. But uh, the quality, as you can even here see from Leuperstor from the picture, we have in Austria very good, uh, great quality on uh, clean swimming pools, uh, adjacent lakes, and uh, 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 and a uh, lot of saunas, yeah. Uh, just uh, uh, to know, to get to know you a bit the culture, uh, uh, the, the saunas in entire Austria and entire Germany are non-textile, yeah. So if if you want to go into the sauna, you have to be nude, yeah. Uh, same uh, same of, uh, for Germany in in Hungary, except Gellert nowadays. 
every, everywhere you're allowed to wear your bathing trunks as well inside the sauna. But, but uh, Syria is home to Leupersdorf and to many other uh, hot springs with, uh, built on a large estate with clean and uh, great services. So it's a bit more expensive, but as well more fancy than uh, the Hungarian um, uh, spas. Eggenburg Palace, Eggenburg Palace is uh, a small but very scenic uh, uh, palace located in the surrounding of the woods, uh, uh, which uh, is uh, uh, very nice uh, to, uh, to visit as well, if, if, you, if you have time. But more frequented is Dachstein Glacier, due to its height and its, its attractions. Yeah, like, like uh, the special prepared caves and the hanging bridge, yeah, uh, the, which is called the sky, uh, the, the, the suspension break, uh, bridge and the skywalk over there. And they have the caves they're called Ice Palace. It's uh, well, one of the top uh, tourist destinations uh, to, be, to be visited if you enjoy uh, the Austrian mountains. Yeah, the, the highest Austrian mountains goes up to three three thousand eight hundred forty eight kilometers, and there are many above three thousand which have snow all year long. Yeah, uh, a very uh, important uh, culture in Austria is as well beer drink uh, beer drinking. Austrians drink uh, uh, are the third largest consumers on beer after Germany and Czech Republic per head. Yeah? And uh, most of the breweries, like the Gösseum, or like Schwechert, or in Vienna, like Ottakringer, we have lots of uh, breweries which can be visited. Uh, and uh, visits are usually like 10 euros, and you will get uh, a free, uh, free tasting visit. Uh, and uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's very popular by tourists that they see uh, the culture and how it's done, and and of course the tasting uh, is often very popular too. <coughs> uh, uh, Sturia has become as well uh, more popular as well with white, uh, with uh, white wine and with red wine, uh, so we can arrange there as well tastings. They are, they are not. Uh, uh, that established like the Wachau Valley brand, but, but uh, as well, we, Austrian wines are uh, highly requested uh, uh, in the in the world. So it's one of the uh, the larger export export goods as well. And I'm pretty sure your clients will enjoy uh, will uh, will enjoy Austrian wine uh, as well. Uh, the, uh, as, a, as I mentioned in former times, Austrian was a uh, Catholic, and therefore we have lots of uh, uh, monastery, monasteries, abbeys, churches, uh, which are all very well maintained, located at uh, uh, scenic lakes or scenic forests, uh, uh, which are uh, beautiful and all this was a uh, worthwhile photo stop. Uh, Asturias is as well home to the Red Bull Ring. Red Bull is uh, hailing from Austria, from Salzburg, uh, founded by Ditti Mataschitz, and is a big sponsor of extreme sports as well, like the Formula One, one race which takes uh, place uh, in Austria in. Uh, 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 in non, non uh, not frequently, like once every five years, but it's very it's very popular, and uh, and uh, we of course we as well sell tickets for it, and it's a great experience uh, uh, if you're into cars uh, to, to see the Formula One live, but uh, but uh, uh, it is well possible for us to arrange. Uh, 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 for you to drive there, yeah. So, we, no, of course, not a Formula One guy car, but we we can arrange you to drive in very high speed cars there. 
as, uh, as already mentioned, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, spas. Uh, and uh, Syria is as well home of Dr. Chocolate, where you can visit the factory and uh, uh, you can do uh, as well a workshop or uh, just uh, enjoy walking through the museum and enjoy a, a, a tasting at the 18 tasting stations. So then, uh, then we head on to Carinthia which is home to uh, Austria's uh, tallest mountain, uh, the Großglockner, and uh, there's as well a passing street, which is very popular with, with bike, bikers. But uh, as, as well, Indian groups loves, love to go in and just uh, have to have a very good uh, picture taken over there. But uh, for us, Carinthia is more popular. For It's over 200 lakes. We can uh, swim uh, during summer, so July, August. Uh, Martin, we cannot hear you. Can you uh, can turn on the audio, I guess? Uh, Martin, please turn on your audio. I guess there's some. Uh... No, Martin, still still not able to hear you. Uh, Martin, we are we are not able to hear you, Martin. Can can you check your audio once again? Uh, I, I guess Martin's audio is still off. You hear me, Mayua? Yeah, yeah. Now, now we can hear you. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so uh, someone uh, plucked off my my, my microphone. I, I don't know how. Uh, so, uh, Carinthia is as well one of the nine uh, states of uh, of Austria, and it's home to over two hundred splendid lakes. Yeah, for Austrians, it's, uh, it's a holiday destination. So the people from Vienna will uh, uh, will do their summer holidays uh, over there. So there are ap apartments and chalets with direct uh, lake entrance. Uh, and uh, uh, if, we, if we have clients going from Vienna or Salzburg or in, uh, Innsbruck, even going to uh, Italy, uh, the then uh, we can uh, do one or two uh, days beach vacation uh, in in uh, on Fakersee or uh, Wörthersee or Ossiachersee, yeah, uh, uh, the the lake locations. Yeah, uh, you may not have heard of Mini Mondos. Yeah, it's uh, home to uh, a miniature world. Yes, uh, most similar to the to the one in in uh, the Netherlands, yeah, where we have local and international uh, sites and curiosities rebuilt. Uh, it's uh, as well uh, one of the main attractions. Carinthia uh, uh, is as well home to Castle Hochostavitz, yeah, which is. Uh, 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 very interesting because of the 14 gates. And uh, for you, very good to know is uh, that most, uh, lots of the castles can be rented for uh, for mice, uh, for uh, meetings, events, conferences. Uh, 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 lots of them as well, they have a restaurant visit uh, with the higher standard of cuisine. Yeah, uh, 
uh, in 2013, there is a new site on top of the hill in, uh, 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 next to the Wörthersee, uh, uh, next to Pratschach, is uh, the Pyramidenkugel, uh, which is a tower where, where, you, have a, where you have a slide uh, down. It's very nice for uh, families with children because they, they, you can take the elevator up uh, the stairway and then you can slide down. And from up there you have a beautiful view onto the lake region. Yeah, uh, as well in Austria we do have Monkey Mountain. Yeah, uh, where uh, there are about 150 macaques uh, for you to, to, to see and uh, 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 and as well uh, pets, but uh, I'm pretty pretty sure this is not such an interesting spot for Indian Indian clients. But uh, a very fun fact to know. Uh, yeah, uh, Werther uh, Lake is the most uh, uh, famous one. It's home to the casino and it's home to. Uh, most upscale restaurants and uh, the most beautiful uh, lake, uh, lake, loca uh, lake locations, but uh, as well as sailing and of course motorboating is possible. Uh, sur uh, surfing is as well possible in Austria, just to let you know, but that there would have to go to Lake Neusiedl. We come back to that later. Yeah, uh, Farkasi as well. Uh, a beach destination and uh, uh, known for its pedaling boats as well. If, if you are an F if you have an FIT client or if you have a mice client, uh, uh, we, we can arrange uh, up up to 50, 60 boats. Is is not 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 a, not a problem uh, for us. It, it's fun for the guests and. Uh, and uh, it's a very enjoyable activity. Yeah, Frankfurt is uh, the, the capital of uh, Corinthia State, uh, uh, but Villach is the uh, more lively location. So if you want to have the restaurants, the parties, uh, is everything located is in Villach, and uh, Frankfurt is more the uh, home to the uh, to the state government. So well, what will be interesting for you is Salzburg because it's one of the main visited states in Austria. Almost everyone <coughs> as well visits Salzburg. Uh, it's uh, only like 150,000 people live there, but we, all, we experience always a massive uh, 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 to, uh, tourist uh, encounter there uh, and uh, they try to keep it uh, uh, at a high profile. A hotel in Salzburg would cost you much more as uh, much more than in Vienna for instance yeah, because as well it always depends on uh, demand and demand in Salzburg is always very high yeah, and there are only few hotels. I mean uh, some new have, uh, have opened now uh, but uh, it's still not enough to cater the demand for for, for Salzburg. Uh, Salzburg uh, is of uh, of course a home to Mozart's birthplace and uh, and uh, uh, Mozart's residence uh, and of of course many uh, concerts and events. Uh, and at the Fortress of Von Salzburg, we have uh, daily concerts uh, there, uh, where you can get, get uh, where you can get with us the tickets uh, either for uh, for dinner or for dinner and concert. Mirabel uh, Palace is located in the heart of the city. There is no admission for Mirabel Palace. This is one of the most frequently asked questions. Uh, so when you start your tour, you see the fountains, you walk through the gardens, and uh, and there is no admission for for, for that. Uh, the castle itself cannot be visited, but you can rent it for uh, for weddings or special events.
if your uh, if your group stays in Salzburg for like two or three days, Hellbrunn Palace is a uh, is a uh, a very fun uh, palace uh, to visit because you uh, you have uh, hided uh, uh, hide, uh, hide it, uh, uh, water sprayers everywhere, so you will surely get wet. Uh, when you when you do the tour through the castle, because you will never know when it hits you. All the uh, fountains or sprayers are hidden, uh, and we often organize it for our groups and FITs. As already mentioned, Getreidekasse is the home to Mozart's birthplace and Mozart's residence. Uh, uh, where the former uh, famous composer uh, was was stationed and uh, is located right in uh, in the old or in the in the old town and uh, always a very, very lovely place. Here, here you see the Geburtshaus means birthplace. Yeah, in, back in 1756, but from outside uh, uh, it's already uh, renovated. Uh, Salzburg Zoo. Uh, but there, if you, you are visiting Salzburg Zoo, if you are there like four or five days, uh, uh, as, as well uh, as uh, non uh, non is as well uh, an, an uh, abbey or convent, as we call it, with Gothic architecture uh, and very nice uh, mountains uh, surroundings. But uh, this is. Uh, only for four or five days. If you are seeing less, one, one, uh, one of Austria's main attractions and most popular attractions with Indians is uh, as well the Gipfelwald 3000. Yeah? Uh, on top of Salzburg, as we call it. Yeah? Uh, there is snow all year round. You can purchase tickets with us and they have built uh, uh, they, they, they have built uh, uh, the, the different entertainment over there. So you as well, you have a bridge and you, you have had a nice world. And uh, the, uh, uh, the highest peak is, is called Kitzsteinhorn, yeah? uh, which brings me to a, a, a very important topic. Uh, skiing is very popular in Austria. Every three-year-old can ski. And we have so, so many sl slopes, mostly located in Salzburg and Tirol. So, and of course, we can arrange instructors, we can arrange accommodation. Uh, we, we, and we as well uh, try to be informative as possible. Yeah, so skiing uh, we would recommend for the for the younger folks. So to learn it up to forty years is a very recon recommendable sport, very enjoyable. Yeah, uh, so Salzburg Cathedral, as I already mentioned, we have uh, uh, lo lots of uh, churches and abbeys, which are all of, of different times, either goth, Gothic or Baroque or Rococo churches. So you will enjoy lots of different uh, uh, architectural approaches. We often arrange as well uh, uh, trips for architects, because here you have a different variety of art. And then of course, with uh, Hundertwasser, uh, uh, and modern art, uh, as well newer buildings. Yeah, uh, Salzburg lakes and mountains are very scenic, uh, like uh, Monte, Moon Lake, uh, Bamatze, uh, which are very po uh, popular wedding destinations, but there is not a beach destination, as the lakes only get up to 20 percent, ah, 20 degrees, sorry. Uh, 20 degrees, so it's either for boat ride or for diving. Yeah, most of the lakes are very deep and therefore are very popular with divers. So if you have any clients, not only Andaman is a location to go, but as well Salzburg is the lake and mountains. Großglockner is the largest uh, 
at the, the tallest mountain and the largest mountain area in the Austrian Alps and uh, uh, very good road construction uh, leading up there. Uh, we would rather recommend to use uh, uh, either a normal vehicle or a 4x4, uh, then you have a very good driving experience. We do take minibuses up there, but uh, the experience is much uh, better uh, with a smaller car or even a, a, a Jeep. So, we come to Tyrol uh, and its capital city Innsbruck. Uh, Innsbruck becomes more and more uh, popular so, uh, among the tourists. <coughs> and here we come already to the reason for it. Swarovski Crystal World is visited by most uh, uh, Indian tourists. Uh, it, uh, uh, of course, they, uh, they, they have uh, an exhibition where you pay uh, on average 17 euros admission fee if you if you purchase the ticket there but you as well can do it through us uh, most definitely uh, first you walk through uh, uh, a museum and, and then uh, you have the possibility as well to, to get uh, the Swarovski crystals in the shop over there uh, uh frequently asked question is as well it takes about 20 minutes to go there from innsbruck and it can be done on route tell to innsbruck as well innsbruck is the capital city and uh, of course uh, because it's uh, surrounded by the by mountains it's one of the top 10 most uh, dangerous airports to land so it's definitely an adventure as well coming there by plane uh, we hadn't had any incidents, yeah, and it's very scenic to fly in through, through the mountain gaps. Uh, uh, Reute is a, uh, is a suburb, uh, um, uh, an excursion, half-day excursion, or even full-day excursion, where there is well-built a suspension bridge, and uh, uh, it's a very small uh, arch town. I've been there last year again, and right there is as well. We use it as well. Uh, if there is Oktoberfest in Munich, we accommodate to the tourists over there uh, because it's very scenic, very nice, and we can uh, take them as well to Munich uh, much more easier at a much better, better cost. Uh, as well, Kufstein Fortress is one of the largest, uh, 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 largest uh, mice destinations in Austria. It's mostly used by Austrian companies, uh, but I would as well recommend it to you for three-star clients. Yeah, if you have a company which is willing uh, to travel uh, to Austria and says, "I don't have so much budget," uh, it ha it has a three-star and four-star hotel uh, agent to, to, the, uh, to the fortress and uh, they have all MICE facilities, meeting facilities uh, up there. Uh, so if the budget is more tight, Kufstein fortress might be a, uh, a possibility. It's uh, located on the border to Germany. So Selden is a a very popular skiing destination as, as well close to Innsbruck is the Zillertal Valley uh, which is uh, famous for its cheese production. Now, we are getting, if you see on the on the map, we are getting closer to Switzerland which are, who are as well very famous for their cheese productions. Uh, so is uh, so is Tyrol and the Zillertal Valley. It uh, 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 takes us further to the top of Innsbruck, uh, which is one of the nicest uh, cable cars to do. Uh, of, uh, and we always recommend to purchase the Innsbruck card, where, uh, where lots of uh, sites uh, are included so you can travel on the top of Innsbruck cable car for free. Uh, you can visit uh, uh, Ambrose Castle Cathedral, 
you even get the free English speaking city walk visit. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, Swarovski is free of charge. It's a bit expensive, but it's worth it to take the Innsbruck card and to visit top of Innsbruck visit. Uh, I have to add a smaller detail. Uh, there are certain stations if you go up uh, the top of Innsbruck. Uh, the first station, uh, if you go up, is home to uh, home to the Alpen Zoo. Yeah, the Alpen Zoo is uh, home to uh, to so many uh, mountain lions and uh, deer, uh, really interesting animals. It should be done. So if your clients are going up uh, to the top of Innsbruck. When they come down, let them exit at the Alpen Zoo station and they spend an hour there, especially for kids. It's probably uh, uh, the, the most beautiful zoo we have in Austria. And uh, concerning zoos, uh, we already have the oldest zoos in the world is located at Schönbrunn Palace. It's as well a very large zoo, so children are there. As well told you, part of Innsbruck card is Ambras Castle as well. It's uh, not so frequently visited, but if you have two, three days, we'll try to, to take the clients there. Uh, hi, Martin. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Mr. Jaydeep has a request that can you please uh, once again show the James Bond Islands at the Adventure World. Uh, I guess it's Solden. So if you can just uh, take that slide once again. Yeah. And then we again move from Holborn. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. One. James Bond Adventure World, yeah, uh, which is uh, quite quite new. Uh, but as I said, Sölden is home to the world famous Fizz uh, race, yeah. Uh, uh, but but uh, as well, it's uh, newly built James Bond. On it's located right on the roof, and it was of course part of the James Bond movies. It was filmed there, and they have taken together a lot of uh, exhibits. Yeah, uh, but uh, it, it's a good combination if you as well plan skiing holidays. So Valberg is. Uh, 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 bordering uh, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Germany. So, what at Lake Constance is uh, uh, very beautiful. Liechtenstein often gets visited when in the Naturi Sound on the way to uh, Switzerland, but hardly anyone stops in Vorarlberg, even though they have very cool mountain destinations. I would uh, recommend your clients. Uh, to, to stop buying Vorarlberg uh, because it has Austrian prices and it's very similar to uh, Switzerland. Yeah, but half the price. Yeah, and uh, I always say mountain looks similar, lake looks similar. So, and it's really a go uh, gorgeous destination, but hardly visited by foreign tourists. Yeah, as I said, Lake Constance. Uh, well, we have as well a nice uh, conference center next to the Lake Constance, which is very popular for a touristic event, the, uh, the RDA, and uh, it's home of the bicycle, uh, the world's largest bicycle exhibition. Uh, Bregenz Festival once a year, there's a theater festival in in, in Bregenz, which is as well part of the, which was as well part of the uh, James Bond movie. I believe Casino Royale, don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, was filmed here. Bregenz Old Town, that's uh, how typical towns look in the west of Austria, were, were very nice. And if you walk through, the, the local people will greet you, they will say hello. Ah, Christi, we, 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 as we say, yeah, so this is very common. If you, if you don't know the people on the street in the west of Austria, uh, uh, they, they will greet you on the street and uh, most of the uh, cities uh, are smaller and look like the, the picture we are seeing here from Bregenz, which is the capital city of uh, Vorarlberg. 
as, as, as I already informed you, there, there are as well many cable cars in Vorarlberg, uh, which are made in, uh, the summits might not be that high, but uh, you have uh, as well lakes, mountains, and beautiful views, and uh, very, very, very nice, um, nice destinations. And uh, uh, Bregenz is as well home to uh, the KUB, uh, which is one of the famous art galleries in Austria. So you, you are already hearing that Austria is, and art is very, uh, very, very important for us. So Upper Austria uh, is uh, often visited when we, when we go from Vienna to Salzburg. Uh, I often try to convince our Indian clients to, to visit uh, Linz, which is as well located on the Danube. And uh, you, you can see here to, to the left uh, the ARS Electronica Center, which is as well available for, for my uh, tourists and uh, uh, we often host uh, uh, lunches uh, over there uh, for FITs and groups. Yeah? Linz uh, is as well home to music and uh, to the clo close by ice caves. Uh, 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 Hallstatt, you may know, is uh, traveling uh, in the direction of Salzburg. Hallstatt is pretty much a suburb of uh, 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 of Salzburg, yeah. So it's like only 20 kilometers to go there, and uh, it's uh, uh, has become internationally famous as the Chinese have rebuilt it in southern China, and, and because of its uh, unique locations, uh, location on the lake, for you to know, uh, there there is no no traffic within the town. You can use the ferry to go there, so the the buses only are allowed to pull up to the, the parking lot and then you have to go down to the valley station which will bring you up to the Skywalk World the Cherry uh, view and uh, and then you can uh, visit uh, the, the ice caves. Yeah, there are three major ice caves, Hallstatt, Hallein and uh, Aldossi. Yeah, but uh, we try to combine it all this Hallstatt, if you go there and see the scenery and walk through the, uh, uh, the town or have a lake, uh, lake cruise on a public ferry, uh, then you can visit the, uh, uh, the, 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 the salt mine. Yeah. Here we have pictures from uh, Hallstatt salt mine. Uh, which is uh, at the moment it's 34 euros admission, so it's pretty expensive. But uh, they're, 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 uh, but it's worth it. Align and Aldo C are only selling, and I think now it's 23 euros. So yeah. Uh, is as well uh, po popular, popular is as well the, the view from the five fingers. They, they have a, a 400 meter drop. If you go through, through the, the uh, throughout the platform, uh, as already mentioned, as well in Upper Austria, the county, it's very cold. It's uh, only for diving and uh, water sports uh, like. Uh, jet ski, motorboating, water skiing. Uh, yeah, and then we come to to the Burgenland, which uh, borders Hungary, uh, we, uh, and uh, is has as well newly become uh, famous for wine, uh, for wine, uh, for uh, for the big John, for the big red one, big John. It's called. It's home to the Lake Festival. And to the Nova, uh, to Nova Rock Festival. Unfortunately, due to Corona, nothing will take place this year. But we hope to be back by ne next year. Nova Rock Festival. It's it's chargeable. It's expensive, but it's the best band of Europe will perform there, and it's a great experience. Yeah. And for the older folks, uh, they can see the operas and operettes being performed by 
very great singers in Merbisch. Uh, always the best directors. <coughs> it's always conducted by the best directors in the world. Uh, as well as the Hasi Palace uh, is uh, located in Burgenland and uh, uh, we can organize tours and uh, uh, social events, mice, uh, at the beautiful uh, location. And the good thing about Burgenland is located uh, only like 40 to 60 minutes drive from Vienna, depending on which location in Burgenland you go. Uh, Forstenstein Castle, uh, uh, as well, uh, home to the Esterhazis, and uh, and around surrounding you have uh, as well uh, hike, hikes we can conduct in the woods or biking trips, yeah, uh, bicycling, e-biking. Uh, uh, we can uh, can arrange a scavenger hunt in the woods. Everything is possible. There are lots of green uh, greeneries. Uh, we can do. Uh, uh, surrounding Vienna. As I said, it's only like 40 minutes. So, auf Wiedersehen means farewell, and I hand back to Mayur. Yes, uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, okay, so everyone, so this is uh, the slide which I share always, where you will find the link to our webinar, which has been recorded right now, and also to download the presentation. Uh, so, there's a subscribe button, so please visit ATD Representations page on YouTube. Click on subscribe and the notification icon. So once we upload the video with this PPT and the question and answers as well, so you will be notified and then you can download or maybe rewatch the video again over there. Uh, so apart from that, Martin, now we will have, move on to the question and answers session. So uh, the first question, Martin, that we had was uh, how much time does it take uh, for Wakao Valley and you know, uh, milk abbey excursions. Well, well uh, uh, the, the Bajo Valley, or the New Valley as we call it, it's, uh, it can be done in six hours, we, 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 but it's it's about an hour to go to milk, yeah? and, and about 45 minutes to come back from Krems. But uh, uh, we often try to show the clients as much as possible. So I would suggest that they leave at nine and that we should come back at six o'clock for a customized uh, uh, excursion. Uh, we can do it. So we have private car, private uh, private guide. Uh, it depends if you want to have a guide. We usually, for this, we ask the driver to be the guide because at uh, Wachau Valley, uh, at Milk Abbey in Wachau Valley, you will have a guided local tour, which is conducted by the Abbey. There is no licensed guide able to guide you there. Uh, so we often, if uh, we don't send the guide for smaller groups, only for larger groups, we, we send the guide. So up to eight people, there will be no guide, if it's not requested, of course, uh, because the sites, uh, the, the drivers are very aware. Well aware and it's very easy to go from the boat station up to Dernstein. So I, I, I would suggest that, that we eight, nine hours to, to have most of the sites covered because there's as well, maybe we do a wine tasting, we can arrange a wine. And you have to keep in mind that the wine tasting as well can take up to one hour, 90 minutes if you have like uh, 10 to 15 wines. Oh, uh, it will take you up to 90 minutes if you have like 15 wines. I always say like for Indian guests, three to five wines is very suitable. Thank okay. you, Mayu. So, uh, is there any stay option also available in Wakao Valley? Uh, pardon? Your voice was cracking. I is there a stay option available in the Wakao Valley? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, there are hotels. Uh, for instance, Falkensteiner, one of the top brands in Austria, is located on the top of the hill in Krems. Uh, there is another hotel at Thürnstein, which, is, uh, which has five stars okay. uh, allocated, and it's very beautiful. Or you just stay at a local apartment at a b and &B. Uh, There are cheap options available, even with swimming pool within the vineyards. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, also, uh, there's one question again. There is any local transportation pass which is available throughout Austria? Um, 
Well, well there, there's the Austrian rail pass, yes. The, the, but uh, it's uh, it's a part of the Euro rail system, but it's not worth, worth purchasing it because uh, tickets within Austria are available for nine euros mm -hmm. uh, per person. Yeah, so okay. you would have so the, the, we call it Sparschiene. So I always call it uh, either Sparschiene, red ticket, or something like that. So uh, early booking. Yeah. So if you do an early booking with nine euro, uh, you have to have, do a lot of traveling to cover the amount of the Austrian rail pass, which is available through the rail system. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there's one more question uh, that which places uh, will you suggest for seven to eight days Austria tour for a leisure group? Yeah, well, for the, uh, it always depends on the amount of, uh, amount of time you have. But for a leisure group, uh, of course, you will be, uh, visit Vienna and Salzburg, Innsbruck, I would think, are the most popular places. Yeah, it depends always. I, I try to convey to my Indian guests, uh, mm -hmm. please try to consult your guests as good as possible. Are they into art? Are they into music? Are they into water sports and the winter sports? Try to give me as much uh, information as you can get yeah, so yeah. that we can uh, do a, a suitable offer yeah exactly. often it's uh, uh it's there that the indian agents uh, just sent uh, some keywords like vienna salzburg innsbruck yeah Very if cool. i if we are dealing with other markets we get much more information yeah, yeah. so, so it's all to give, give, a proper give, me, uh, we give need me some input yes yeah, okay. give me as much information. You don't need to have to know the sites probably. You can always ask me what can be done. <coughs> guy, guy, uh, uh, Austria has almost Indian restaurants everywhere, but of course you should dip into the local cuisine as well. It, it's always up to consult the agents uh, to, okay. the, to the clients. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, but uh, Vienna, Salzburg, Salzburg, of course, with Hallstatt, Innsbruck. Uh, of course, we stop off Innsbruck, yeah, and then we can en enter some sites as well. We we have seen, yeah, or yes. to have a spa holiday, a skiing holiday, yeah. Then you have to keep in mind that Vienna has the uh, Austria has the best quality uh, available throughout Europe. Okay, so that's what I was coming on to next next question. That uh, what is the availability of Indian restaurants all over Austria? Uh, in, in the capital cities, it's there, of course, but it's well in Wachau Valley, in Trems. During summer, we have Indian food. Linz is home as well to the best Indian restaurant in Austria. Uh, run by uh, Ashit Singh family. We, of course, we have a contract with all Indian restaurants in Austria. Uh, we are very, very well of the quality. We are traveling there very often. Yeah. Oh, uh, only in the rural areas, of course, in the rural areas uh, like Hallstatt, if you if you want to go to Hallstatt or if you want to go to Tel Amsee, then uh, you need to be uh, uh, able uh, to eat as well continental food or you will, will need to be willing to. Because in Hallstatt as well in Tel Amsee, half pot supplement is very mm -hmm. cheap, very affordable. You pay, may pay a lot for the room. Yeah, uh -huh. in, in Thailand, but the half pot we can get for maybe 11 or 12 euros only. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, in Thailand, there's only uh, 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 there's only one restaurant, and it's uh, the Basmati has shut down, but there's a pizzeria place which is run by an Indian guy. Oh, that, that's great. Uh, yeah. But, but it's more like a feeling if you're going to a pizzeria and not to an Indian and mm. they are missing out on the half board you can get in the hotel for a very affordable price. Okay, okay. Which may include as well a salad buffet if you're vegetarian or vegan. So, so there are options there, yeah. but of course Austrians are more meat eaters than, than vegetarians. That's yeah. what I try to convey. Uh, okay. Uh, one of our attendees has asked some question about itinerary that uh, they have the client who like the natural beauty and culture itinerary. 
so he generally proposes them three nights prague one night shek and then two nights salzburg three nights zelamse two nights in vienna and then three nights in budapest so what do you think that this combination works out in terms of natural beauty and culture they, 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 uh, i i want to, to tell you something frankly here the, the more you put in in one trip the less of each city you will see yeah so mm. the, 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 that is well a very important fact indian itineraries are always very tight yeah i have had only a few requests from indian market which are which are more relaxed and which are focused on certain uh, uh, topics but uh, the routing you have just said is a, is, is of course a fine routing uh, yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, as, as well as I try to convey, for instance, everyone who goes to Budapest goes and visits the Shishini Spa. Yeah, okay. but, but this Shishini Spa now, this is very run down. If you go to Leuperstor, okay. or, uh, as well to Martins Therme on the way to Hungary, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what we have uh, suggested in some itineraries previously, as well for the Indian market is that you go to St. Martins Therme, which is on the lake, on Lake Neusiedl, and, uh, and a spa at the highest possible quality. quality. But of course, quality costs money. At Shishini, you pay 20 euros admission fee. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, uh, a, a day at St. Martin's Therme, if you do like day, mm -hmm. day pass will be like 40 euro or 50 euro, yeah, depending on what you need, yeah, if you okay. need a pass. So about 50 euros. Of course, it's more than double the amount, but the, therefore it's bigger. You have the lake, you have the uh, hot uh, spring spa, you have all the saunas, uh, and uh, it's uh, the highest uh, level of spa you will get. If, okay. if, you are, if you just want to go for the common experience, I would say Shishini is fine. If you want to have something special, if you're a honeymooner, I would say uh, the transfer from Vienna to Budapest Uh, if you want to keep short from Vienna, if you do Vienna, St. Martin's Therme, and then St. Martin's Therme to Hegeshalom, which is the closest Hungarian uh, train station, will be uh, about 100 euros maybe. So 50 okay. each and 50 admission. So the day will be about 100, but you have uh, a great experience. Uh, okay. Great, great. So I'll, I'll come on to the next question. Uh, there's one question which is, is November and December a good time to visit? Uh, but let's rephrase this question that what can we expect in November and December if a client is visiting? Well, well the November, December, is, 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 is it's getting cold. Yeah. So in December, we can, can come down to like to minus 20 degrees. Yeah. Sure. I mean, down to that's not common but in november nowadays we can have as well like five or ten degrees yeah but the, the main tourists we have here are uh, christmas markets visit, visitors would like to enjoy the party it's always a big party <coughs> we drink uh, hot wine punch uh, you have artwork and all the christmas markets which are in front of city hall Uh, Schönbrunn Palace, Belvedere, uh, Karl's Church, St. Stephen's Cathedral. Uh, they, are, they are everywhere. Yeah? So this is one of the main. We, and we have always, we, in cooperation with ATD, we always launch Christmas market products, as you know, Mayur. Yeah. And, uh, but of course, uh, which is not so popular, unfortunately, with the Indian tourists, is skiing. Uh, Uh, I know that there are clients from Uttar Pradesh or maybe from Kulu, uh, which would be interested, or maybe younger folks who would be interested to learn it. Yeah. Okay. So we have a lot of groups coming from Lebanon, for instance, or uh, or from Finland, who, are, who come uh, to ski in Austria. So skiing, ice skating, uh, 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 or if you want to do. Uh, Less dangerous skiing, then uh, I would uh, uh, suggest cross country. There's cross country skiing. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Martin, I'll come to the last question now. Uh, that 
uh, which ice cave is better holstadt or werfen uh, yeah uh, in my personal opinion werfen is uh, is better yeah okay uh because uh it's an entire experience around it. You go up with the cable car, uh, and that's what you know, what our, uh, the agents should know. It takes time. A visit takes if you rush three hours in Werfen. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an experience, and it takes time, and it's beautiful. Yeah, but it's oh. uh, three hours you have to rush. Rather allocate five hours for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that's good. Thank you, Martin, uh, for answering us the questions. We have still questions coming in, and I would request uh, you that we would be emailing you uh, the answers to these questions which are coming in, and also they would be and uploaded. Definitely, we will uh, be responding, Mayu. I yes. thank everyone for, watch, uh, for watching. Stay healthy. Uh, all, all the best, and uh, hope to work with you in the uh, in the future. In the I hope in the near future. Uh, once again, many thanks, uh, Mayua, for hosting. It has been a pleasure. Thank you, Martin, uh, for joining us in webinar today and you know giving us such a good insight about uh, Austria in detail. Uh, so those who every uh, thought, thank everyone to attend this webinar. webinar. And also on our slide, you can see the email IDs and also the contact number. So just feel free to send us an email or just call us up and to answer. We can we would be ha happy to answer any of your questions or queries. So thank you all and I just conclude this webinar now then.